A local tattoo shop is facing social media backlash after a blog post said two employees are affiliated with an alt-right group. And now the owner of Lark Street Tattoo says those two employees no longer work there. And now they're trying to mend fences with customers and the community. Ben Amy is live with our top story tonight. Good evening, Ben. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, Karen. Well, Lark Street Tattoo's owner says he thinks the worst of this social media fueled outrage is behind them, but for some customers, they say it's too little, too late. If you want to know how much social media can impact a business, you don't have to look any farther than Lark Street Tattoo. It's affected our business. We've lost some customers for sure. Wednesday night, a blog called Love and Rage posted an anonymous article profiling the rise of the alt-right Proud Boys group in Albany. The Proud Boys are self-described on Twitter as Western chauvinists who believe the West is best. Two Lark Street Tattoo employees were profiled in the article with social media postings provided as evidence of their affiliation. At first I was just kind of shocked because it's kind of scary to know that that stuff kind of goes on in our own backyard. It didn't take long for people to start demanding action from Lark Street over the article. Thursday morning, we were trying to do some damage control, and I made a statement that just got it, made it worse. That statement was read by many as defending the employees who were profiled. It's completely unapologetic, totally not what I expected. Um, you know, I'm familiar with them. I went to get my Harry Potter tattoo there, um, so it was kind of a shock to me that, you know, they didn't take it more seriously. The first statement was taken down and multiple new apologies were posted. And those two employees? Uh, the people that were profiled in this um, anonymously posted thing uh, were, are no longer working for us. Martin says he never got an indication that there was any sort of extremist activity from his employees, and he also said he never got any complaints about them. Uh, they were excellent employees and very good people. and. Uh, it's heartbreaking that, you know, they had to go. Now Martin is trying to repair relations with a community he's been in for 25 years. They don't feel safe coming to my shop. And uh, we took that very seriously and we addressed it. Um, there's no reason to feel that way anymore. Now, Lark Street Tattoo also released a statement about the blog post this afternoon. You can read that post in its entirety on our website, WNYT.com. Right now, reporting in Albany, Ben Amy, News Channel 13.